Seattle. I think it's like, it's awesome being an artist in Seattle. There's like, there definitely is like a community that supports artists. In my case, like my, uh, my, my audience is so diverse that like it seems like everybody's interested in art around here in one way or another. Um, and yeah, as far as being an artist in Seattle, it's like the most amazing thing to be able to wake up and have an idea and then just, okay, let's make this idea happen, you know? Like, like drawing and painting is so easy to make an idea happen because you're just, you're just, uh, okay, I got this idea and then I'm gonna do it. You don't have to invent anything or anything. You just use your imagination, put these pieces together and great about it. Kind of recycle the same things over and over again. And then I just started to focus on being inspired and drawing in my environment and basically going on adventures every day to like keep fueling ideas. And now it's like, there, there just became a point probably five years ago that it just got out of control. It's like overwhelming ideas and inspiration constantly. And that hasn't really stopped. So usually I'll just fill sketchbooks up with ideas, and then and then I'll run into them. And now I understand the perfect time will come for each idea to come out. Um, that name—it's funny. A lot of people ask me that now. But when I was in first grade, I drew this little character, and he just had a little star head, and it, like it just a, like a little star for his head, and then he was just a stick figure. And I don't know why that stuck. It's not like I kept doing it from first grade, but like maybe 10 years ago, it just popped back. And I started drawing like comics of my real life as that little guy. Then he kind of morphed and I started drawing like pictures of myself with a star behind it. But that just became too tedious for comics. And then the hooded star head character that I have now just showed up during a a road trip I was on, but I have like tons of autobiographical comics about those that I put a couple on Facebook, but um, I definitely got to modify them and put them out there and maybe explain that story better. Most of the time, it, as far as building it, it's, it works out great. Like I, I had a ceramics teacher years ago who, you know, I took the ceramics class and I like powered through the beginning ceramic ceramics just so I could start hand building. And I could just kind of see the 3D structure of something. So I would build these things and he'd always tell me like, there's no way that's going to survive the kiln and every single one did. But he did come up to me one day and he said like, that that ability isn't like this, like a lot of people don't have that same idea. So most of the time when I get an idea, I'll just think from what I have, like how can I make it, you know? It usually turns out to be the right, the, I mean, uh, I guess there's like, there's like a flow and it, things usually fit. There's every once in a while I have a project in my mind and I just can't, I don't know the materials well enough to get that, that piece through, but uh, most of the time it turns out great. Woo!